Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashmi and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these bows. Okay, starting off with a slip knot. To do a slip knot, you're going to wrap the yarn over your finger like this twice, pull over the back loop over the front one like this, and do this one more time, the back one, over the front, but this time go over your fingertip, okay? And pull these two loops. That makes a slip knot, okay? Slip your crochet inside this slip knot and tighten this loop around your crochet like this. From here, we're going to start off with chain 10, okay? So to chain, you're going to yarn over your crochet and pull through this loop that you had on your crochet, okay? That's chain one. Yarn over, pull through, that's number two. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three. Yarn over, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After these ten chains, we are going to work on row two. From here, we are going to be working in single crochets, so let's start the next row. Start single crochets in the second chain. So this is your first one and this one is your second one. So I'm going to slip my crochet hook inside the second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you have two bits of yarn over your crochet, okay? You're going to yarn over, pull through both of them in one go. That makes one of your single crochets. We are going to go ahead and do a single crochet in every single one of these chains, okay? Two, you should have nine all together now. And the last one, nine, okay? So here we are. Once we've done this, we are going to chain one and we are going to turn our work around like this and we are going to start working in the back here, okay? And this is our next row, row number two. So to start that off, we are going to, as we've already got a chain one, we are going straight into this stitch, okay? And we're going to do single crochet all through every single stitch, okay? Slip your crochet in the gap, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through both loops. Just like this, you're going to go ahead and finish this row. So we should have nine single crochets here. Now we're going to do the next round again, same. We're going to start off with chain one, turn our work around, and we're going to do one single crochet in every single gap, okay? There we go. Chain one, turn the work around. We are going to have five rows all together, okay? So we are on row number four. So let's carry on with single crochets all around. One more time, so end of four, uh, row four. So this is end of row four. Yarn over, 
chain one and turn your work around and this is our last row of single crochets again okay so we should have at the end nine single crochets again okay two three four five And the last one nine now that we are at the end of row five we are going to chain one and we're going to snip our yarn okay pull this through the loop and just tighten it tighten the chain so this closes our work off okay so this is what our work looks like currently i'm going to take a darning needle and we are going to stitch this in okay once you've got the needle on you're going to stitch it in the first chain that we had okay and these chains just go zigzag like this up and down okay and stitch this through be sure to pull this corner okay so it doesn't get crinkled up in that particular space once you've done that you're going to snip the extra bit off okay we're going to do the same thing with the other side as well okay There we go. We're going to again go zigzag like this. Keep the zigzags very tiny so we don't have a, a big bit of yarn showing so that this just uh, disappears within the stitches. So once you've done it, pull the corner like this, okay, to stretch it out and to make it go back to its original position. We're going to snip it off from the end and we have got a little piece of rectangle here okay now to make it into a bow we are going to start off with a slip knot so you're going to wrap it around like this okay tighten this around your crochet now we're going to chain four one two three and four fourth time we are going to just pull the yarn out like this and snip it from the end okay tighten this so it closes our work so when you look at it closely you will only see three chains okay now we are going to take our work hold it in the center like so and we're going to turn it around okay from the end we are just going to tie a knot like this okay holding in place with one hand so before you tighten anything just make sure it's right in the middle and when you can see it is definitely in the middle you just tighten your knot okay and do one more knot in place holding this okay once this is done you can turn your work around and there we have it there's your little bow if you were to stitch this on something thing you can use these bits of yarn that's left over to actually stitch it in if not then you can always work it into your stitches here and then snip it off okay and these are your two bows If you enjoyed making this with me, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.